Hello, this is Mad Hatter, and I'm here to introduce you to Structura. You may have seen it uh, from other people, namely uh, Mr. Slack Lizards had a preview of it, uh, the old guy has had a, had a preview of it, and a few other uh, people that I trust have had the ability to use this previous to today's launch. So what, what does Structura do? and who helped me make it. So Structura will take big builds like this. This was generated by my model program, which you should have a link on screen for. Um, it'll take a big build like this, or any build that you want, big or small, and convert it into something that is on an armor stand, like this. You'll say this kind of reminds you of Light Matica from Java, and that's exactly what it's inspired by. So I had a lot of help from two people to get it to where it's at today. The first is Dr. Av, who, um, when he found out that I was working on this project, jumped in and gave me a whole bunch of code and a whole bunch of uh, data on his previous attempts to do this, which helped immensely. And Fond Unicycle, who helped me with all of the math in the uh, generation of where the blocks are placed in the world so like ex figuring out how exactly this block ends up there relative to the armor stand so the first thing that you need to know if you want to use this is that it uses structure blocks and the way you get a structure block is running slash give at s structure block and what structure blocks are designed to do is copy structures or bring them into behavior packs so you can use them in mod making this tool is actually going to use some of the features of the, the structure pack or the structure block to get our data out of this world and into a place that I can process it for a, a resource pack. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get your structure block, place it down, fiddle with it, change these offsets and uh, sizes to fit as much of your build as you want into your structure. So this is how much I can fit in. There is a hard cap on 64 blocks tall in a structure and 64 blocks wide and 64 blocks long. So now that you have a structure outlined, you have to name it something and hit export. So I'm gonna name it night two and hit export. And I already have a night two, so I'm just gonna save over it. Yes, I want to replace it. And then we're going to go into Structura. So Structura is an application. So first I'm going to close the one that I have open. We're going to go to the Structura folder on my computer. And this zip file is be, will be what you download. You can extract the zip and you'll get the Structura.exe lookups and vanilla resource pack. If you open Structura.exe, it'll pop up a command prompt followed by a window. You don't have to run the exe. I provide all the Python code in the distribution and that will be the latest and greatest. So uh, that's up to you if you wanna use that or if you wanna use the executable. So I'm gonna select night two and I'm gonna type in a name and this has to be a, a unique name. So I'm gonna name it night three. Hit make pack. Now in this folder, after this all stops, it's going to put, uh, spit out a name. So if I double click night three, it goes into Minecraft. I can hit save and quit. And at this point, you can attach it as a normal resource pack. Uh, we're gonna go to resource packs and grab night three. and jump into this world. So this would be working on any world. And I'll show you that later. But to start with, we're gonna place this armor stand down. And look, there it is. But this isn't all you can do. See, when you're building sometimes, it's really easy to forget that these are not real blocks and try to jump on them and then fall through. So we added a feature, and this is why we chose an armor stand. If you shift, shift and right click, you can repose the armor stand. When you repose the armor stand, it makes this 
phantom build, really small, and gives you kind of a single layer view. And I'd say single layer view, but it will render every 12th layer. The reason we render every 12th layer is there are a total of 13 poses on the armor stand. And so this way you can flip through every single layer, have a bit of an air gap, and still have a full complete view. And for me, the full complete view is important for when I'm trying to figure out how to position the model. Um, one thing to note is that you can turn the model by placing it different directions. And you can move the model up and down, up by, uh, you know, putting the armor stand higher. Oops, sorry. And down by placing it lower. It moves with the armor stand, and you can repose it at any of these positions. You can even clock through the poses, uh, you know, with your redstone, if you prefer doing it that way. I don't have a... I don't have a preference personally, but now you're going to say, well, what, how can I, you say I can do this in another world. Can you show me a demonstration of it someplace that you don't have creative privileges? Cause clearly you have creative privileges here. So let's get after that now. Well, now I'm on Slackville and Slackville is a survival multiplayer server operated by Mr. Slack Lizard, who, you know, makes content here on YouTube. Um, and it's some of his friends and people he really trusts that are on here. So I don't have access to commands or any sort of, like, uh, admin tools on this server. That's why I came over here. It's not a test server from of mine. It's It's not... I have no control over what's going on here. I have not added any behavior packs. Uh, this is one of our survival builds. Uh, it's a very large build, but as you can see, this pack that I made, I just made it on that uh, test world, works just fine here. I didn't change any server settings. I didn't change any anything at all. It just I just came over here with the resource pack enabled, and I can now play with it. I can use it in different poses to, you know, look at things. And I can basically copy this build if I wanted to block for block without having to count or do screenshots or anything like that. Now, I know some server owners might want the control of not having this be a tool on their server. I respect that and I will have a pack in the description to turn off Structura for your server. That will be a pack that you can force if you choose to on your server that will make it so that armor stands render normally no matter what the uh, user runs on their pack. I, I don't know why you would want that. I don't think this is cheaty, but different people have different opinions, and it's important that when we build these tools, we build ways for people to... Uh, detect them and not allow them on their server. So some of my tools I couldn't do that for, but this one I definitely can give your the server admins the ability to turn it off. So I'll do that. So now I need something from all of you. And what it is is different depending on what skills you have. If you use Structura and you find a bug, Please report it. You can report it in GitHub under issues. You just click the issue, sign in with an account, type out what you saw, maybe put some screenshots in there, and hit submit. Then I can fix it. If I don't know about it, I can't fix it. If you are a developer in Python, please poke through the code. It's not perfect. I wrote it really quickly and tried to get it to you as soon as possible because I love it and I thought you would love it. That means that there's lots of bugs, lots of terrible coding practices that need to get cleaned up just so that we can make it maintainable. Um, but if we can get your help, we can do that faster too. And if you have the heart, you can patch a bug or two that somebody reports. I know there are bugs. Um, 
but it's just me and Av right now writing code and Fond helped us get started. So if you guys can help, that would be huge. That would really make the project move. And if you wanted to ask questions, if you want to talk about it, there is a Discord link in the description for my Discord. There's also a, a link to Slack's Discord because I spend a lot of time and you can see beautiful builds like this by a lot of his community members in his Discord. And that is pretty much all I have. If you want to uh, see me on Twitch, there's a Twitch link. If you want to see me, see more of this, you can subscribe, you can like, you can comment, you know, all the normal YouTube things that people forget. Anyway, this is Mad Hatter, and I am out. You guys have a good one, and I hope you enjoy this tool as much as I do. Bye!